Chapter 116 Asmahel speaks on the power of God in man. Now all the patriarchs were struck dumb and did not know what to do. Those who knew who was hiding behind Asmahel were full of praise, gratitude, true love and the greatest reverence in their hearts. Whereas those who so far had not known now had their eyes opened and were at a loss what to do. Did they have to melt away with reverence or should they pray? Must they trust their eyes or doubt? Should they ask the fathers about it or Asmahel himself and say, who are you that your word is so mighty, and you say what shall happen? And when you have uttered it, the act is already accomplished. Or what were they to do? And thinking about it, they were seized with a great fear. For this second example of such a sudden annihilation had evoked very strange thoughts within them. When this pondering had lasted for a while without a result, Asmahel stepped into the midst of those who still did not know about him and said to them, Listen, you who cannot fathom me, what are you thinking? Have not Adam, Seth and Enoch shown you often enough with powerful words what man is capable of accomplishing in the name of God? But you, whose spirit and ears are always deaf and whose eyes are blind, would not realize what it means and what power is available to every man in the name of the one God, Jehovah, when he acts without doubting and is full of unshakable love and complete trust out of it. Instead of paying attention to this, you ask each other, Who is Asmahel and how come that he can accomplish such things? Oh, you blind and deaf ones! Why were you given ears and eyes, both spiritual and physical? Is it maybe only to enable you to see the grass and other things on the earth and in the firmament? and the hearing so that you could hear the song of birds, the buzzing, roaring and noises of all the worlds? Was all this not rather given you to direct it inward, namely, that you were always to perceive first what was going on within you, and what you externally see and hear relate back right to the root of all being? Does not the root of all things lie actively within you? And if someone goes to the bottom of a thing, or has got to the root of it, and grasps it with the power of God within him, supported by love and faith, what obstacle could there arise to something happening as the right kind of man has planned it deep within and firmly willed it in God? The one capable of accomplishing something is so only through God. For outside and without God, no action is possible. Act accordingly and do not first ask who and what Asmahel is. Then you will find the Asmahel within, each one for himself and for all, once you know what Asmahel means. Amen.